All right, it's year two of the lasagna garden, and we're definitely looking a lot better than we did last year. Check out the quality of this soil. It's absolutely rich, dark. I've seen tons of worms, and worms are our friend. The plants did take a lot out of it as well, so we're gonna pile it back up uh, with more materials. To recap, we basically threw a bunch of organic materials in a pile, and now we have incredibly fertile soil. What we did was we used the lasagna gardening technique, a really smart way to start a garden. First, we built garden beds using mostly free, found, organic materials like seaweed, grass, leaves, and birch. That really reduced costs. In fact, this was much cheaper than buying high-quality soil, and it was much faster than spending years trying to till in nutrients into pre-existing soil. Also, one of the most crazy claims of lasagna gardening it came true. We had very little weeding in our first year. So, now it's year two, and we're going to build those beds back up using the same materials. Found, free, and organic. This should be the last year we have to do a serious build-up like this. Moving forward, we'll be able to maintain healthy soil just by adding manure and compost each season. So don't ask me why we're using straw again, uh, but I've looked at the bales this year, and they do not seem to have any of those seed pods that came with the last one. And we're going to mix it with the compost and that will give it a little bit more bulk and then we'll put it on top of the beds and on top of all of it we're going to put the seaweed and uh, leaf mixture that we've harvested from the beach. If you look at it, it's kind of, it's like broken up leaves and tiny little bits and every once in a while you have some seaweed uh, mixed in with it. Based on last year's success, we couldn't help ourselves but order a bunch of new vegetables for this year. temperatures were just off the charts. We were having 40 and 50 degree days all throughout March as well as some days in February. So what did we do? We decided to plant early, an entire month before the last frost date. Nature is the world's original disruptor. Woke up to a power outage due to a surprise April snowstorm. In addition, managed to get a tree falling right across of our driveway. <laughs> It is the first day of June and we're having a bit of trouble with our seedlings this year. We have been getting a lot of late frosts, so I mean we even had a frost warning last night, which is pretty crazy for Maine standards even. Uh, but our seedlings just seem to have gotten stuck in this really small phase. These are tomato plants, for instance. Um, we just transplanted them yesterday. This is what they were looking like before each one in a cell that small and we decided to put them into larger containers with a mixture of not just the pro mix uh, potting medium but also some fertilizer heavy uh, potting soil transplanting yesterday was brutal we had to sometimes transplant them entirely with just their little roots and fill in around the outside with more soil so it went all right I, you can see like they are uh, standing up today and they will have more nutrients from that new potting soil so maybe they'll take off we are fortunately having some good sunny weather the greenhouse is doing its job it's nice and warm in here uh, so hopefully if they like the new soil the transplanting was gentle enough they're gonna take off in the next couple days if not, I'm really worried about our tomato crop this year. Uh, so far, I've really resisted doing artificial lighting and artificial heat um, just because I kind of like working in tune with nature. But if we lose our whole tomato crop this year, I'll definitely have to reconsider and uh, maybe purchase some grow lights to get an earlier start. Now to get one of the most key ingredients to any garden, manure. Last year we had to pay top dollar for manure because we were new to the area and we bought it through a gardening company. This year we're going to do it the way you're supposed to do it. 
we're going to a local farm and we'll grab some of the newer that they just have lying around. Next episode of The Ravenous Farmer. We continue to struggle with seedlings that are having a slow start. We also double the size of our garden, and in putting in an asparagus bed, we discover what would have happened had we tried to dig into our soil. The whole place full of rocks. 